So if there are some tests with the wind scale going from zero to full power, and uh, we we had uh, just one uniform simulation that produces a wave height map that is tied across the whole water surface. Uh, so to get more details and remove our uh, obvious tiling, we stacked it three times with different scales. And to keep the waves high and lower near the coast and near the where the water is really shallow, we introduced uh, wave dampening dependent on, on the distance to the, to the sea floor, the sea level. Uh, so, the, so the high waves will cover the coastal buildings like hardbacks, piers, and things like that. And this is actually problematic uh, because just one simulation and you cannot really like, like have additional input parameters and decide that well for the cross we want to have a different one, just one. And our wind scale is totally arbitrary, we didn't try to make it physically correct or anything like that. It was mostly given by the art, art requests. And initially we actually they wanted to have really powerful, powerful storm and huge waves and everything, but but that was like making the world heavy. Consistently, consistently between the shallow water and the deep water, so we can decide to get something average. And anyway, our game is not about ships and other things.